Another commentary track. I'm so sorry, but um, the new episodes will come in the middle of June. I guarantee it. I'm working on it. Just hang tight. And for now, here's another commentary track. Um, episode 15. It's the Kevin Federline episode of Lose Control. It's one and only video and one and only song. And I've always kind of wanted to do this episode. Uh, the season one episode, which is odd to me because I'm still at the White Walls. Even though I did the uh, 100th episode, the first part against the White Walls, still amazing. And what I'm wearing, very odd shirt, but whatever. It's season one, I change my clothes all the time. So, I wanted to do this episode early on in season one, so I decided, you know what, um, Everything is set up for October and November, and I have the Christmas episode, so I'm going to do this as the first part of the um, first episode of the year of 2014. So, this was really fun to write and shoot and edit. This is one of those episodes where it's like, yeah, I was, I'm pretty sure I was on the whole time. And I agree, like a lot of people agree, because people in the triple digits actually ended up watching it. A lot of people like this episode. I like how this episode turned out. Mostly because, like, I'm making fun of this guy, I'm making fun of his so-called swagger. I'm surprised I got a lot of mileage out of, like, the music video which is set at a club. You're a superstar? A superstar of what? Your trailer park? Yeah, like, in hindsight, I was a little cruel in this episode, but you know, this isn't, he's not the worst musician, and again, it's, he's, he's just gambling at a casino, gambling away Britney Spears' money, I'm, I'm assuming, but, uh, yeah, this was actually really fun to do, because, like, it was back, like, when everybody was making fun of him because he was coming out with new music, and I'm like, the music, the beat's not terrible, like, his flow could be better, but then again, who's, yeah, his, his flow could be better, but I could see this guy, like, I mean, he's in obscurity now, but, um, I'd like to thank him for making a music video that made, like, got me triple digits in terms of the view quality. Um, man, I can't believe I got, I, again, I can't believe I got mileage out of a video shot in the club. I just, like, but then again, I did the video thing, I looked at the lyrics. The lyrics I wasn't supposed to do, but it's like, what else can you talk about? You're just gonna make, keep making fun of him. <laughs> he can't be a one-hit wonder, you can't top a song that went nowhere. Yeah, that's. Can't believe I. That's one of the lines I wrote. I mean, I wrote the episode, obviously. I was at work thinking about this, and I was like, like thinking about writing it, and I'm like, okay, I got this. And um, I couldn't think of much to say after a few minutes, so I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and ask you some questions. And the questions came from um, what's it called? The Mystery Science Theater episode, Hobgoblins which featured Mike and the Bots asking a cardboard cutout um, version of Rick Sloan, the director of Pop Goblins, questions that were very mean, and it was like, did you have brain damage? And it's like, yeah, I want, he's like, you know what, I'm just going to ask this guy some questions on par with like the Mystery Science Theater episode of that. And uh, yeah, that's what happened. I just decided to come up with a few questions. A few funny questions, and it took me, what, a couple of days to write those questions? And yeah, they were cool, yeah, but you know, whatever. Like, he was already ridiculed from the moment the song came out. Everybody was making fun of him, so, yeah, I feel like, you know what, I was a little bit late, but you know what? People still watch the episode, and I still really enjoyed how this turned out. So many good memories. Still, you know, it's season one. I mean, for for season one, which was mostly slow paced, this actually went by quickly. Now the no part, like, would you watch this again? Watch this again. The no part that was supposed to be a lot longer. I was supposed to pull for thirty seconds, but I ended up not doing it. So I just decided, you know what? It's actually very easy to just, you know, 
just cut away, just say no, and then cut the end credits. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for Kevin Federline's, uh, Lose Control commentary. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon, just working on new episodes. Take care. Bye.